Vea nun sinde lungtena. Nun dis amanda kill angador fermo. Hede nun nun lia findelnar. Lia wemor. Findelnar mori vin orne osto. Firnis mori vin. Mori vin kemen tur alecano. Menelum heroth mor karilm an ardor. Alcarwa fir nun eldaia. Ane martir. Tindome ingarina fa alme al carua? Et eler, le affermor el dalia era lotte. Sorne an fa melton. Vanelin huror sorom. Casinque telpe nun fin eler. Lera ne fir heranon, an ne arte her firnis. Nun dis amanda kill angadur. Hmm. Okay. Man's head is harder than the Arbor Heart's trunk. Let's demonstrate the cutting's resilience and prove him mistaken. Fear not, it is well in hand. Well, I think I will head over there after uh, next place. Where is next place? I just want to buy some more potions. I'm struggling. Bindamun. I don't think I need more, but I never know. Men run sorrow. It is most exhilarating to hand over such to some. And here we are, in the blink of an eye. surroundings look arisen a ballista ha ha I... it is a miracle you're still alive though I dare say that's true of all of us oh you believe we ought to evacuate well you traveled far indeed to deliver these tidings father I dare say then anyone would go for the sake of an idle jest. Mm. If we must leave, we shall have to begin preparations at once. Yeah. But I think we're a bit short on hands to attend to all that must be done. In fact, there's a rather delicate matter that I could use some help with. A blacksmith and his wife dwell on the encampment outskirts. Might you escort them here so that they can join the evacuation? Yeah, that's sure. Smith, Gustava, is a man of good sense. But as for his wife, well, suffice to say, Cleuna has always been a contentious sort. She'd have naught to do with us, given the choice, and isn't likely to take kindly to the arrival of any of my knights on her doorstep. I can only hope that she will be more willing to listen to you, a third party, as to her. Yeah, they will listen to us. And while you're taking care of that, I will see to it that the incumbent is made ready to depart with all due haste. Ah, I remember the blacksmith and his lady wife well. I only hope we can convince them to join the evacuation. Well, why, why is this one? Why is that one marked? Hmm. 
This is going. Or maybe. Am I just supposed to stay here? I think so. In combining materials. Uh, boots, shut up. Doesn't look very good.
is he is rushing in. This was your doing, was it not? I'll not pretend to understand, but you have my gratitude all the same. It was enough to give me hope of snatching this world from the jaws of ruin. Truly, the strength of the mortal will ne'er ceases to amaze. You seem distracted. Is all to miss? Perhaps you believe destruction to be my goal, that I seek to bring an end to this ill-begotten world. However, Naught could be further from the truth. In this world, I exist only to observe, to read all that unfolds. The reason? Could it be that the World Forged addresses you even now? Well, well. It would seem that this man is aware of my presence, if only in part. I confess I know not what you are, nor do I care. Be you a transcendent being of a peace with the divine, or only an observer keeping watch on us from afar. Know this. You have no right to deem this world a mistake. He bears a will strong and true. Had he but chosen a different path, he would have made a fine arisen. Yet, there is no sense in mentioning what might have been, for that title has lost all meaning. After all, what need is there for a risen in a world coming apart at the seams? You underestimate mortal kind at your peril. Mark my words, the day will come when I divine the truth of this world. And on that day, I shall free it from its yoke, from the burden of this loathsome dogma of dragons! The ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. I say. We collect as much as we can carry. Well, where did the head go? Ah, oh, never mind. Okay, well, uh, we we have uh, finished here. We need to go to the door. Where, where the hell are them? Over there. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay, well, we have a quest that we can head over there fairly fast from here or actually from here. I think for now, we're gonna go over to, um, Uh, this place and do the fight You've pushed your luck too far. I'll not take that from you Pray calm yourselves good people. I will have none of this squabbling so Manella, you don't understand this scoundrels the one who started it. No, you don't understand this is no time for the people of Batal to be quarreling amongst themselves. We shan't weather this calamity unless we can recall our common purpose and unite our efforts towards it. But it's right here. But what about the people here? What the hell is that? Was that a chicken? It's a tiny dragon. You 
saw the sky fall, I trust. I doubt you could have missed it. Wherever the sky falls, a dragon soon appears to lay waste to the land. Or so I had assumed, after what befell Melv. Yet aught here appears to be different. Has our ruin been forestalled, or merely postponed? I must examine that creature. It may well be the key to unraveling the origins of this cataclysm. Something like a wall of light impedes our progress. It is most... Oh. Many paths are closed to us now on account of the fact of descent from them. Confound this obstruction. But I suppose I ought to have expected this. Answers were ne'er so easily won. Monsters! Summoned by that beast, no doubt. Well, we should go and deal with them then, right? I ill like our prospects. It's a dead end. Come on, have a principles of the world is in an unfathomable state. I have no indication where to go apart from there. Walked. Seems this is the only way forward. Up we go. Nice to be in the 
fight. Enough, Daddy. Follow me. Fine welcome indeed. I can only hope that the worst is now behind us. Principles unproven are as dust on the wind. Oh. I think he died, but I don't know where. He could be anywhere in here. Powers are twice as terrible in the flesh. Our prospects. Last on the wind. Are we almost up there? 
This will lead into the temple and then we should be behind that thing. Dragon at the heart of all this destruction. This what called the monsters forth. I should like to capture it and bring it back to the lab. There is much that might be learned from it. Why did you destroy it? The secrets we might have learned. You've your charge, it is true, and the fiends appear to be falling back. But I trust you won't object if I take a sample of its remains. Well, you can do that. After all, your role is to save this world, and mine is to pursue its secrets. Go, do what you must. I will remain here and continue my work. Someday soon, I will lay bare the truth of this world. And on that day, I will slip the yoke of this broken order that rules us all. Does my lifelong work... Must be more. Oh, I see you do not relent. Your persistence is most intriguing. What is it that impels you? Alas, would that the world had not come to this. For I am certain. Your tale would have been a glorious one, yet it was not to be. You need only cast your gaze upward to cleanse the futility of your defiance. If I might be so bold as to speak my mind. Ah, Sir Arisen. You are returned, I see. 
With the world in such disarray, I could not stand to be away from my homeland. Thus did I return, to render what aid I may. I maintain order as best I can, but for every fire I extinguish, it seems three more are incited behind my back. But enough of my woes. What brings you here? You wish us to evacuate? Mayhap the idea merits some thought. After all, if we sit on our haunches, it is likely only a matter of time before we share the fate of Mel. Alas, the people of Batal are far from united in purpose at present. Should we proceed, unheeding of their divisions, I fear that our efforts would come undone ere long. With every soul at their wit's end, conflict is like to spark at the slightest provocation. As such, before we take any measures, I would have you walk amongst the people, Sir Arisen. Behold their plight with your own eyes, and should you encounter any discord, pray do aught you can to resolve the people's quarrels and assuage their fears. Such efforts will doubtless allow the evacuation to proceed all the more smoothly. As for me, my work here is far from done. Let us part ways for now, and reconvene when you have accomplished all you can. Tis no mere tavern brawl we are to mediate, Master. You've pushed your luck too far. That's quite an... <laughs> Haven't you had enough yet? You're the one who started this. Stop this nonsense, the pair of you. I don't know how to solve that. Pray slow your feet. You run too fast for the likes of... <laughs> ah! You're just riding on your father's coattails. You slander my honor, sir. I demand a duel. This is no business of yours. Be gone. Now, now, Nabra, let's not be too hasty. If we are to duel, we ought to have a witness. Otherwise, who's to say the victor fought with honor? I. True enough. Without a witness, either of us could simply kill the other, then disavow the use of any underhandedness. Well, sir, what say you? Will you watch over us while I take this scoundrel to task? Um, ask the reason for the duel. This knave dared to slight my honor. He said my swordsmanship was hardly fit to wound a training dummy. The bloody nerve of him. <laughs> And I'd say it again. It was your dear father's patronage that made you a sentinel, not your own skill. You have my gratitude, sir. Let us delay no further. Come, Scario, prepare yourself. How about you? Out of lantern oil. Damn it. I, I admit it. I underestimated your skill. The loss is mine. Nay, it was I who underestimated you. I'd thought to score an easy victory, but you fought fair and capably. We owe you a debt, sir. It is on your account that we've seen some sense. Were it not for your timely appearance, I'd wager this nonsense might have cost one of us their life. Indeed. Better to hone our respective skills than take up arms against petty slights, I say. It seems some things can only be resolved by crossing blades. But I doubt they'll quarrel again after this. My heart is light as a feather after that exchange. Can't put a price on. Oi! I saw it first. 
trust a flea-ridden hide to take it all for himself. And why must I share with a fangless one? This is no more your food than Batal is your land. You there! You couldn't have come at a better time. Put this upstart in his place for me, won't you? Go on, lay into him. Uh, well... Neither of you are in the wrong. They want food for their kids, I suppose. If that's what you think, why don't you mind your own business? All right, clear off. Pretty words shan't fill our bellies. You said it's bad to hurt people. Wow, thanks, sir. Say, Rakim, would you like some? I can't eat all this myself. Really? Thanks. That's mighty kind of you. If only our fathers could do the same. Oi, leave my kid alone. You're not some child snatcher, are you? Wait. You shared your food with them. I thank you, sir. As for you, Nomos, it would seem we were both but looking out for our children, eh? Hey. Aye. Mayhap we're not so different after all. And we've both our children fed. We've no reason to quarrel. The desire to protect one's kin transcends rape. There is naught more you can achieve here, Loris. The time for resistance is long past. That's not happening. Well, I'm not done yet. If I were you, Master, I'd not leave this unread. It couldn't hurt to take a peek. I've had well enough of your nitpicking. I reckon the world would be better off without you. Oi. Oi, you. Don't go poking your nose in our business. This is between us. Oi, leave off or we'll make you. I'll crush you. I'll cut you oh, and feed you your entrails. <laughs> Have you lost your bloody mind? Reckon you could just cut us down in the street? What's the matter with you? Eh? Fine, fine. We'll set our squabble aside for today. So bother us no more. You'll answer for this. Ah, Sir Arisen. In less pressing circumstances, I would take issue with your methods. But I cannot deny your efficacy. The people of Batal are beginning to see that they must stand together if they are to survive this calamity. We shall see the fruits of your labors when the time comes to evacuate. At the very least, we need not expect too much opposition to the announcement. Pray return to Empress Nadinia and apprise her of your doings. I must remain here to ensure no further squabbles arise. Heavens only know how many lives you have saved this day. I hope you'll accept this humble reward for your efforts. What say we report to Empress Nadinia? Her Majesty ought to be willing to commence the evacuation now. Well, hopefully. But after that, then we just need to evacuate the, the arbor and the volcanic island, right? But the arbor, I think, will do last. Her Majesty has begun her supplications. None may see her ere they conclude. Stay your hand, Vera. This one may pass. Come hither. We would speak with you. One of our ministers informs us that you have been espied in the city, resolving the people's troubles. You have our gratitude for your efforts, which have doubtless bettered the fate of this nation and its citizenry. Your journey continues, does it not? 
We wish you good fortune on your travels, wheresoever they may take you. Pray excuse the interruption, your majesty, but I fear time is upon us. I would see you prepared for the road ahead. Indeed. Forgive us, but we must take our leave. Farewell. Bakbatal and the rest town are now safely evacuated. I am certain we can rely upon Simonella to keep the peace. Huzzah! You've done it! Why do we have um, a marker in here? Is, did I forget something? Really? I'm not done yet. The world cannot end just yet. Uh, we need to go over now to uh, the volcanic island. Well enough. Where to next? needs help they need to hurry up methinks there are rare materials to be found hereabouts well wow, well wow. that's quite a discovery Our midst. Caution would be wise, but we ought not let it halt us in our course. over there let us ponder how best to proceed <laughs> lay down your arms before you hurt yourself <gasps> Is a chest. Not all chests contain treasure, you know. That's a bunch of them. We need to clear out the entire camp. <laughs> I'm missing everything. Not happen again. 
in. That's that then. It is a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Did you fall in a puddle? You're positively soaked. We're almost there. We do need to kill these. Adventuring is toilsome as it is, and yet you do it with a laden hat. I cannot put my hands on it. While in another world, I happened upon a treasure chest rather close by here. Perhaps I could show you the way. They should be able to deal with that one. I hope. Oh, come on, why are we, we and no one in, is attacking it? Well now, whatever brings you here? These are perilous times to be wandering about. You'd have us evacuate with the encampment? I am touched by your kindness, friend, but we'll manage on our own. I couldn't bear to be pressed in among those crowds. Now, now, I'll hear none of that. I'll see you to safety, my dear, come hell or high water. Besides, I should hope this good soul has earned your trust by now. Helped me out of a tight spot on more than one occasion, if you'll recall. After all that goodwill and the long trek out here to warn us, we'd seem mighty ungrateful, turning our back on another helping hand extended only in kindness. Oh, very well, my love, if you insist. It seems we'll be accepting your offer after all, friend. Would you be so kind as to escort us to our destination? Let's see our charges to the encampment. But be mindful. The path seems much changed since last we walked it. A resounding success. Mm, what, what do you mean changed? I have just cleared it. I don't have any response.
Let me be the one to collect it. This boulder looks mighty heavy, but we might just be able to move it if we combine our efforts. A firm push is what's needed here. Everybody is alive? Everybody is alive. Come on, bunch of suckers. We're almost there. We just have a little bit, a little bit more to travel, and then we're there. After that, we need to hurry back to uh, uh, the shrine, and then back to Arbor, I guess. I have uh, delayed way too much time. Common materials can be found here, methinks. Well, well, that's quite a discovery. Oh, -ho, a ballista! Tis a glad thing we happened upon this. Unleashing it during combat ought to fluster our foes. What happened to them? Where did he go? Well, here we are. How long before the evacuation begins, I wonder? Would you find Serenesto and tell him we've arrived? Let him know that we'll wait here till the time comes. Sir, I implore you to reconsider. Surely you can see that the situation is dire. How many times must I say it? I'll not be ordered about. Not by ye, not by anyone. Now bugger off and leave me alone. Ah, good. You're back. I'm afraid there's another matter for which I must beg your assistance. It concerns the fellow I was just speaking with. Sir Lamond, his name is. The man's something of a regular at our hot springs. I sought him out to tell him of the evacuation. But he has flatly refused to join us. I must confess, I'm at a loss as to how I might convince him. Could I prevail upon you to try your hand? At this point, he thinks anything I say will fall on deaf ears. Solomon is as mighty as a hundred soldiers. It would be reassuring to have his aid. Shall we speak with him? I knew it to be so. Fancy meeting ye here, cuz. Did you want something? <laughs> not this again. I'm here to live my life as I see fit. I'll not be ordered about by anyone. Not even you. Um. Request guard for Smith and wife. Oh, bollocks. Of course you'd make a decent request like that. I fine, I'll do it. Seeing as you're the one asking. Can't say I'll be glad to leave this place behind. But you've my word, I'll get him to safety. He seems to have acquiesced. Sir Ernesto will be thrilled to hear it, I'm sure. 
It's no great shock to me. I cannot thank you enough for all you've done. We shall fare much better on the road with Sir Lamont's arm to defend us. It will be slow going, mind. We have wounded whom we must accommodate. Yet, come what may, I swear to see them all to safe harbor. Good. So they have begun their evacuation. Right. No time to lose. We're gonna head over here. Do not forget that we work to serve the citizenry. There is aught I would ask of you. Okay. That is... He wants to go, uh, go on an escort right now. Like, what the hell? Now, where do I need to go? Out here? Maybe. The sea was once here, and the brine with it. Some old that it soared up into the very sky. Judging by that, it looks to be the wrong way. I need to go this way. Not sure if we can take this path. Make me proud to serve the Arisen. I think it worked. Okay. Well, here we are. All right. We're going to head down. We're going to talk to um, the merchant. Don't want to use that. Since times of eld, remember draconic. Blood flows through the veins of lesser drinks as well.
suit to you. Then I bid ye farewell. Shopping is such fun. We mustn't overspend. That's just what I was thinking. Okay, let's see here. Since time, remember. Draco Draconic blood flows through the... Then I bid ye farewell. Okay, let's see here. Deposit that one and that one. associate little with the world outside their wood. Perhaps therein lies the origin of their noble nature. 
Kasinke telpi nun finda ler. Lera ne fir heranon, anne arta her firnis. Aidalia anandor, nun lintan. Heror anne oia fermor, anendune faluntena? Nenambue yavstir uru findelnar, lia teren ayale. Kemen ros uru ne teren, ne romen anar telpe minasvana. Duintarmi kinalen meltol, parante lume an lis, ne kemen kaya inju mun sil, ne meltol linkan altakar an fir nun fiamur. Mori vin palan vanis in tiel? Palan hiar menran, lis fa arne fane. Elorato ala, nun mor arta her. Firnis an erumar isil rod et teller, lera, Aetena. Nenwen mor aiwanon, al carva fir nun eldaia menelume sur carilm. Iavstir lalasta, nun falesmir magananon, anamorli. I thank you, friend. It would be no exaggeration to say that you have saved my people. Your fight continues, does it not? Be well, and come back safe. You found strength courses through you. It's good to see. Okay, is that all, perhaps? I think that might be all. As far as I know, our village and everything is evacuated as well. So I think we are done. There's ought to be found there. Can you not see it? Elelot Osto Silfa Malantha Alecano Mine in Fair Averhum. Hmm. Okay, we're heading over to the excavation site. This ladder can take us to new heights. After you are risen. Now here's all of interest, a ballista. It is a glad thing we acted upon this. Unleashing it during combat to fluster our foes.
Let's see here. Did I see how many they are? Oh shit. And it's just me now, pretty much. possible I need to split them up somehow Oh, this sucks. There's still so many and I just cannot... I just cannot do anything. By the time he reacts, I'm already... They're already gone. It's almost like fighting with latency. <laughs> I still have that one too. Come on. Now we use two, well, four more maybe. Oh no, 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 no. A phantom. And shit. Oh, damn it. Why? Of all the things.
I cannot call forth the other resistance too. I'm gonna need to do with this. Because otherwise we're gonna lose um how to restart the game and everything. Come on, just give me a shot here. 